a body starts rotating with an angular acceleration as beta naught cos theta. We need to find the angular velocity of the body as a function of angle theta. So angular acceleration is a function of theta. So let's draw our disk here and start with this point. So here theta is zero initially. And as theta increases up to pi by two, you can see that angular acceleration is positive. And after pi by two, angular acceleration becomes negative. So from here to here, the disk will accelerate. And after that, it will retard. Now, if it is retarding, where does it come to stop? So for that, let's find omega as a function of theta. So then we can see where it stops. So for that, we will write beta as omega d omega by d theta. So we just take d theta this side and integrate from omega goes from 0 to omega and theta goes from 0 to theta. So this gives omega square is equal to 2 b naught, uh, 2 beta naught sine theta or omega is equal to plus minus root 2 beta naught sine theta. So you can see here at theta is equal to 0, omega is 0 and that is expected because body starts rotating. And when it does it stop again, it stops again when theta is pi. So this point, let's say it is pi, it goes all the way to here and then the disk stops. And once it stops, so here the angle is pi. So if you put pi in beta, you can see that the acceleration is still negative. So it will again go back like this. So this disk will do to and fro motion to an angle of pi by 2. So this point will come here, then again it will come back and go here and come back like this. So it will be the first path and then it will come back by the second path. So this is to get a complete feel of what's happening in the problem and let's now draw the plot of this dependence. So dependence of omega with theta. So let's plot that. So we can see here that as it's accelerating, omega will increase. Then it will decrease and it becomes zero here. So it increases, omega increases, then it decreases and becomes zero here. And after that, it's going in the reverse direction. I mean, it's uh, from counterclockwise, it's going into clockwise direction. And we have assumed this to be positive. So when it's going the other way around, omega becomes negative. So, and theta, it never crosses pi. So theta goes from zero to pi, and then it comes back from pi and go back to zero. So that's why this, the term inside the root is always positive. So when it comes back, then again, it accelerates. So it will be like this, but but the omega is negative, so that's why it will go down. And then it will decelerate and become zero again at the initial position. So this is the curve it will take. So this curve is of root sine theta, right? It's not sine theta, it is root sine theta. So yeah, so a lot of learnings in this problem just look at this slide until you understand everything which I have drawn here and it will be useful later.